Hello everyone, welcome to my Super Robot Tyson 30 PV2 reaction video. For those who don't know, this is Super Robot Wars 30. This is the second trailer or promotional video for this game. I have it paused right now, so let's unpause and get down to the action. Also, I will point out this is in Japanese, so don't expect me to be able to translate any of it, unfortunately. Although I do like the fact that they kind of thrown away to kind of throw a, a name there for the robots. Via word salading a longer name. And I gotta say that this title card icon is kind of working for me. I'm, gro I'm going to like that more the, the more I see it. So here we go. Do you views on a few of our robots and stuff? So it's pretty brutal here. And I believe that's Elgai. Not the most exciting uh, footage there. And if this is any indication, we're probably going to get all the versions of narrative. I love this animation sequence here. I kind of want more of the attacks to look like this, where it's just epic and over the top, because that tends to make these attacks a lot more exciting. But right here, it looks like we're going to be getting some of our, uh, our Brave series units. And I'll admit that the victory here looks pretty sweet. And its animation sequence actually gets, you know, robust as opposed to some of the other units. But this is the one I'm hyped for. Damn right it's time for J-Decker to kick some butt. Yeah. Again, extended animation sequence. Looks sweet. Can do some damage. And here it comes. The answer to my question. Yeah. So Gridman is not going to be transforming into states and then battling in the transform state. It looks like it's going to be the attacks are going to be summoning your allies to combine and then use them to blow up the baddies. And that actually looks pretty close to one of the early monsters in Gridman. So I do kind of dig the fact that, like, it looks like what it's supposed to look like. And that's freaking epic takedown right there, too. So you kind of get a taste for the characters and the robot and stuff. Looks interesting. Looks pretty intense there. Look at our command ship, or at least one of our command ships. And its crew. Like how this crew and its ship gets a bigger focus than any other individual character. Although the one thing I will say is I do like the improved ship animations. They've been doing this for the last couple of games. But early on, a lot of the ship animations were nothing that impressive. Here you have it, you know, doing the whole load up, all the crew talking to each other, the cannons firing off and blowing everything up. It kind of reminds me of a uh, G Generations uh, ship attack for sure.
And here we're going to see some in-game stuff here on terms of powering up the characters. I am very happy to see that it looks like they have a lot of the systems here for buying extra parts and especially, hopefully, they have the uh, ability to send off unused units to go and collect experience and money because that really helps when there's certain characters who are story-based but you just don't like them. And it looks like, yeah, we got our pilot powering up here, our suit powering up here. Overall, it looks like there's going to be quite a few options to make this probably a much easier game than it really needs to be. But hey, that's kind of how Robot Wars games have been going in the last few entries. Like it's building up so much hype. <laughs> it's like... And here's our brand new Jam Project theme. And honestly, I love Jam, Jam Project, so from my perspective, hearing them rock out always puts me in a good mood. Plus, we get to see a few more of the attacks here from a couple different characters, which I do appreciate. So if you're worried that they weren't going to have your favorite character, you do get a few different things here with, you know, uh, Mazgur and what have you. A little extra grid man in there. So, yeah, pretty, pretty exciting, pretty hype right there. Here in the, the theme, plus getting all the different attacks. And yeah, it's coming up really soon this month. And yeah, we're getting it out here in America, too. So, yeah, we also have different versions you can buy, which... I am not a big fan of that, because that means I just got to spend extra money on a game, uh, especially in a franchise that I really love, especially when the DLC includes units I might want to use. But here's the big thing. If you were wondering about the music list of what's coming in the music DLC, here it is. So we have, let's see, 31 extra songs from different anime franchises, in addition to an additional 15 that I believe are background musics from previous games. So, yeah, that's a lot of extra music and makes me wonder, especially when you look at those sequences they showed earlier of the attacks, and I didn't really hear much of the iconic music of those series. So, yeah, you're going to have to buy your music if you want your music to sound good, which not really happy about that. Um, we're probably going to get quite a few extra units. I'll pause it right here. This is just credits and stuff. Who cares? And... Whew, I don't know. I have mixed feelings on this game like I did before, but I will say this. Seeing the animation sequences, hearing the Jam Project song, that gets me hyped. The fact that the majority of the music from the anime series I want to hear is going to be locked away as DLC does not make me hyped. The units for DLC are probably not going to have anything to do with the story. It's probably just going to be some fan favorites and... Obviously, it's going to be a few from the previous games, which there are some units from the previous games I do really like. I sound significantly less enthused than I actually am. Watching this the first time, I got pretty hyped. I actually freaked out when I saw, you know, some J-Decker and some Gridman and how they would work. And then I saw that DLC list and it just kind of felt like a punch to the gut. And yeah, on this recording of my actual thoughts and feelings... That punch the gut feeling still hurts, I'll be honest. And I'm worried about what units have been locked away as DLC. It really does worry me. That being said, the animation looks like it has improved since the first PV, which did not look all that impressive at all. I am a little more hyped for our main units and our potential uh, protags. I think we might have some cool interactions there, at least some cool designs and some cool attacks. Overall, I'm feeling better about the game. I just have some reservations. Let me know how you feel about the game in the comments. Let me know if you can translate any of that text. That would be really helpful. And most importantly, let me know what attack looked the coolest to you. And until next time, I'll see you at the tavern.